The days after Russia's invasion of Ukraine entered into the third year, senior diplomats from China and Russia met in Moscow to discuss the conflict. China's foreign vice minister was hosted by the Russian foreign minister in Moscow on Monday, and a Russian statement has said that they discussed a whole host of different issues, including that of the Ukrainian crisis and the situation in the Korean Peninsula. The officials have also agreed to improve coordination in key international organizations, including the BRICS nations. Monday's meeting has come just days after the anniversary of the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine that happened two years ago. On Sunday, the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Russia is now preparing a new offensive against Ukraine by early summer. Now, the war that has now left hundreds of thousands dead has deepened the political rift between the Western democracies such as the United States and its major allies in Europe and also Russia and China. Beijing, on the other hand, has not condemned Vladimir Putin and the invasion of Ukraine and has steadily expanded its quote-unquote no-limits strategic partnership with Moscow. Senior officials of the two nations have also met time to time to discuss the bilateral cooperation from trade to military, while Putin and the Chinese President Xi Jinping met twice in person last year. Facing growing isolation from the West, Russia is also stepping up engagement with North Korea. In recent months, Pyongyang significantly ramped up its weapons test despite years of economic and military sanctions by the United Nations. In January, the White House said that Washington had evidence that North Korea had provided ballistic missiles to Russia and that North Korea is now seeking military hardware in return. Pyongyang and Moscow have denied the claim. To force Putin to end the war, last week the European Union announced a new round of sanctions and the sanctions will blacklist North Korea's defense minister and for the very first time will also ban the export to the three mainland Chinese firms that have been accused of supplying sensitive military technology to Russia. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.